than the cartels. But yes, cartels are central to the problems of Nairobi. And the three colleagues of mine actually are part of the cartels that I want to deal with. <laughs> I will tell you who the cartels are. The cartels are people who have made money through uh, shady business deals. My friend um, Evans Kidero has made his billions uh, through shady deals. There is no industry he has built, but he has become a billionaire having been an employee throughout his life because he has looted every institution he has joined. <laughs> Mumias has collapsed, and Nairobi is not a going concern anymore, according to the Auditor General. My friend Sonko is looting every land in Nairobi. He has a criminal record from Mombasa where he was jailed because of fraud, forgery, and drug dealing. Then he ran away from jail. So he's a cartel because he has a criminal record. And right now, he's grabbed many pieces of land. And then stages a PR show, PR stands, where he videotapes and pretends that he's come to rescue. My friend Peter Kenneth bankrupted Kenya Re. He basically looted a public institution to death. And when he was in Gatanga, he never promoted a motion in parliament, never sponsored a bill, never chaired a committee of parliament. Then here he is saying we need a manager. Nairobi need a leader, not a manager. <laughs> I will hire managers to deal with different sectors, competent, ethical managers. And these three represent the worst of our country, where you make money in shady deals, and because of those money, that, that money that you've made, and because you can give handouts, you are considered a manager. A manager of corruption is not a leader.